we know, based on literature that's emerged just recently in the last few years, that as many as 50% of patients with moderate, severe, and very severe COPD also have bronchiectasis, or comorbid non-CF, non-cystic fibrosis bronchiectasis. That's radiographic. That is, if you were to do high-res CT scans on all your patients with moderate, severe, and very severe COPD, you'd find half of them had radiographic bronchiectasis. Now, not all of those patients, it's clinically relevant, but if you have a patient with COPD who is giving you a story of frequent recurring lower respiratory tract infections, suppurative infections, where they're producing purulent sputum, yellow-green sputum, necessitating multiple courses of antibiotics over a period of years, um, that patient probably has comorbid bronchiectasis and needs a high-res CT scan to diagnose the comorbid bronchiectasis so they can then get, the, get appropriate therapy, which is um, HFCWO, high frequency chest oscillation. And I can tell you that um, I see at least one or two patients a week in my practice now that come to me with that story. They've been diagnosed with COPD, they've been treated for COPD, or they've been diagnosed with chronic bronchitis or asthma or recurring episodes of pneumonia. And uh, we get the high-res CT scan, we diagnose the bronchiectasis, we initiate effective therapy, and then they get healthy and they stay healthy. Once they start thinking about it, um, then they have to say, okay, if I do have patients with this, this disease, where are they hiding? You know, where are they? You know, Dr. Seifer says there's four million people out there with this disease and I've never diagnosed it. And he's saying they're right under my nose. Where are they? So the places that they're hiding, um, diagnosis COPD.